Hello, and welcome to our third episode on pharmacy calculations. This is our practice series where we're answering questions that are sent in by our students and hopefully providing good instruction to help you prepare for the pharmacy technician certification exam. Now today's question is as follows. A physician orders five milliliters of a 15% solution to be administered. What is the correct dose? And our multiple choice answers are all expressed in grams. So we know we have to get from five milliliters of a 15% solution to the total number of grams that's contained in that order. And to start with, you're going to need to understand what percentage means when you're expressing a concentration of a solution. Now, percentage is always going to be how many grams are in either 100 milliliters or 100 grams. Usually, when it's not specified, when you're looking at a solution, it's going to be weight per volume. Now, it might be specified as volume per volume or weight per weight, but it's always going to be X number of grams per 100 of something. In this case, it's going to be 100 milliliters. So that's how you express a percentage solution, weight per volume. So if we're talking about a 15% solution, that is going to be 15 grams per 100 milliliters. Now, it's actually quite easy to solve this if you understand this information. And again, if you watch any of my other videos, if you're taking the PharmacyTechScholar.com course, we are huge advocates of using cross multiplication with consistently set up proportions to solve these problems. Sometimes it takes a little longer than doing quicker math, but if you do it this way consistently, you're less prone to make mistakes, especially when you're seeing questions like this on the exam. So to do this, we always set up a proportion with the unknown variable in the upper right hand side. So in this case, it's going to be X number of grams, right, which is what we're looking for in our answer over five milliliters. So how many grams are in five milliliters when the solution is 15 grams per 100 ml or 15 percent? Now, it just happened to work out this way, but remember, you always need to match your units on the left-hand side. So the left-hand side is going to give the known information, and we've got grams over milliliters, so it matches the right-hand side, and we're solving for X. Once you have it set up like this, the math is simply going to be 15 grams divided by 100 milliliters, and then you cross-multiply like that. So we're going to say times 5 milliliters. And just trust me that the units cancel out when you do it this way. So milliliters will cancel out milliliters. And you're left with an answer that's expressed in grams. Now I'm going to bust out my calculator here to wrap this up. So we have 15 divided by 100 times 5. And this is going to bring us to 0 0.75 grams. So the answer to this question would be solution A. Now, if you have any questions about this, or if you have other questions you would like to see solved, feel free to reach out to us. And you can do so by checking us out on Facebook here at this URL, or shooting us an email at info at pharmacytechscholar.com. You can also find us on the web at pharmacytechscholar.com where you'll see a contact tab on the top of the page to reach out to us. Thanks for watching, and again, we hope we can help with any questions you may have.